Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, also welcome. Um, today we're going to go over this look. It's a little bit of a nude. you got some browns and you've got some red and some gold and obviously a nude lip because who doesn't love a nude lip? So if you all want to see this look, please continue to watch my video. Alright you all, so I went ahead and did my left eye off of camera. First, what we're going to do is obviously make sure that your eyes are nice and concealed. And we're going to be using pretty much all of these colors. So we're going to go in with this really nice pretty brown. And we're just going to put that on the top of the lid. I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush. And then you want to take more of a little tapered brush and we're going to go in with a mixture of these two but starting first with this guy and you just want to add that above the crease. Then we will go back in with this darker brown and really just pack that in in one area. I'll pick up that transition color, put a little bit, not a bunch on there, put a little bit and just blend it in. We're gonna get to carving this cut crease out with me having the hooded eyes. Um, the best thing that I have really learned myself when it comes to carving hooded eyes and really even any eyelid is just going above the actual eye crease. Um, I'm going to show you all how to do this the way that uh, I started when I started doing cut creases and it's just it has overall it's made it a lot easier on me. What you are going to want to do is take a little bit of your product that you're going to be using, putting it right at your eye line and then you don't have to do a bunch but put a little bit of your eye line and look up and move your eye back and forth so that way it puts a crease on your eye for you. So for my guys that are just now getting into cut creases, this is a great way for you to start learning. And with cut creases, they don't have to be perfect because with me blending in so many colors over here, you're not really going to be able to tell that one of my cut creases is maybe a little bit off compared to the other one. But we're going to pick up this real pretty, this real pretty beige skin tone color and just go ahead and pack that in all over the lid like so. gonna go in with this lighter brown and blend just a little bit so now we're gonna take this orangish red right here Now 
now we're gonna do wing and lashes like we've got on this side. Oh, probably need mascara. Buy me a lot of mascara. I don't do a lot of mascara actually, I just do a very thin coat. Eyelashes are pretty good and tacky. Um, and the only time that I really use one of these is when I try to push them together. Like when I clamp them together. It's hard for me to say. Other than that, I always use my hand. I take these and I go through and I pinch so that way they are like, it's like clipping them together. <laughs> kind of like you would if you had magnetic eyelashes on. The primer that I have on, I want to do a wear test on it before I tell you all to see if it actually does what it's supposed to do. It's mattifying and it dries on, so I'm kind of wondering if it's going to really help out with my T-zone. So until I know that, I'm not going to tell you all or show you all this product. I just really want to make sure that it's actually a good product and really worth it. So next we're going to pop to foundation. I've got my favorite foundation in the world. It is the Maybelline Super Stay. I've got, I'm going to be using 118 and 120 because I'm really pale. Uh, 118 is light beige and 120 is classic ivory. That is when you know you need sun. Now with this lighter color, I'm going to be putting it on the inside and where I want to highlight my face. And with the darker color, I'll be putting it where my contour is and I'm just going to blend it out with a beauty blender. All right, for highlight and contour, I'm gonna be using the Longwear Concealer by Milani. We're gonna be doing both of these colors. So for highlight, this color is Nude Ivory.
for my contour. This is Warm Tan. It's probably a little too dark for me, but it blends out really nice. To blend this out, I'm gonna be taking my what is it? NYX. I think it's 22. It's actually um when they started the uh, drop foundation. That's what this was originally for. But I actually like to use it for my contour. I like the way that it rounds my face. And like hugs and all the right curves too. Okay, maybe not too dark. Okay, maybe not just. Maybe last time I had a. I don't know. Last time I used this, it was a little too dark, but. Well, I messed that up. I baked off camera. But next with this, we're going to go in with the Hula Benefit Powder. And we're just going to very lightly put that where we had our contour. And put it where you would like it. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. Hush. Excuse me. All right, so UPS interrupted us, but um, you're just gonna wanna put the contour back on where you had it um, with the liquid. take this one is tart and blushing bride All right, so then we're gonna brush this bad boys off. Gosh, I'm scared to see what it looks like underneath. Oh yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. All right, so I baked kind of harshly. So with that blush, I'm just gonna blend it a little bit more. I don't mind the contour being so um, like sharp, but this one I don't like it to be so sharp.
And I'm actually gonna go back with a bronzer. I'm gonna use this a wet and wild one. I really like this. Um, I really, really like this. It's actually very, very pretty. I'm actually just gonna take that same brush that I used to um, pull off my baking and I'm just gonna pick it up. And it's gonna kinda help blend in everything too. On the bottom lash, we're going to do these two. We're going to mix those two together, and then we're going to pop that in. It's not for me to say. I'm gonna put this on the outer like a liner. This is like, I've never mixed these two together. And that's like 100% my fault. Wow. Before we move on to this highlighter, um, I went ahead and put the Elf Glow Dew Mist on. And I like to do that so it kind of sits and it does. It makes it real nice, pretty, and dewy. And now we're going to take this Maybelline Chrome and put this on my face. Because I like to shine a lot. We like to shine bright like a diamond because I am a diamond. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot for the life of me understand why people don't like this or like look down. I'm gonna leave my fish in his fire. Okay, I'm gonna stop, because if I don't, I'm gonna keep going. So now that we are all done with highlighter, we're gonna move on to our all night setting spray. I love this, it's by Urban Decay. It literally lasts all night. That's the only way that my fa like, face stays on is if I wear this. And for this look, we are done. And then I just like to like fan myself to get it to dry faster. Okay, so 